Welcome to day 14 of our Power Query series with DivK Learner. Today's topic, organize your data with confidence, sorting in Power BI. So organize your data with confidence. Sorting in Power BI, whether it is sales, dates, price, or names, sorting help you bring clarity to your data set before applying any transformation. So what are we going to learn in this video? First, we'll see how to sort a single column alphabetically, numerically, or by date. Then we'll sort using multiple columns using shift for hierarchy-based sorting. And finally, we'll decode the M code that controls sorting under the hood. Sorting is a simple but powerful step that improves your data structure and prepares it for the next operation. Here's a sneak peek at day 15. We learn grouping data to summarize and structure large data sets model. So if you have any questions before I show you the demo, ask it, learn it with DivK Learner. Submit your query here and I'll share that link in the chat. So let's just dive into uh, sorting like a pro. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll open up the visual, uh, sorry, Power BI desktop. So in the Power BI desktop, I'll go there into home and then click on data transform so that it opens up the Power Query editor for me. And in the Power Query editor, what I can do is if I want to sort any of those columns, whether it is alphabetically arranged. So if it is the name, if I want to sort them on name, I can say sort ascending. So you will see it's if it start with all the names starting with A, I can sort it descending so that it starts all the name with Z. That is a single column. I can do it. I showed you all the alphabets. I can take it to the numbers. Do we have any column for numbers here? Not here. Might be on the other side. Uh, do we have any numbers? There are numbers there. But let's just go to the order details. So we have the total amount there so i'll just click on that and i'll say sort descending so the maximum amount would be on the top and the lowest at the bottom i can do the same thing as sort descending so whenever i'm doing any of those sorting i see a applied step being there so you see i've sorted rows and this we are doing for single uh, columns we can do it for the multiple columns for example Let's go to the customer. I want to sort them on the country. So I'll do uh, sort ascending on the country. So it will be starting with the A, alphabet A, all the countries, and then going to the end. Is it sort ascending? Why do I see Poland and everything still there? Let's see if this sorts work. Oh, because it's sort contact name and the country. So I'll, I'll, I did two things there. So I'll just remove this part here. I'll do the sorting with the country first. So sorting, ascending, and you will see that all the sort out there. If you want to add another sort to it, the one way is to press the shift button, but I think we can do it without holding the shift button as well. After the country, I want these, it to be sorted on the city. So I can say sort ascending for the city and you will see that if any of the countries having multiple cities, they will be arranged from A to Z. Now, if I want to add another thing there, what I can do is I can go to the uh, contact title and I'll do a sort ascending again, all of them ascending in the same order. Now, whenever you're doing sorting, if I take you to the back to the order where uh, or order details where we did sorting, you will see here in the formula bar, you will see that it gives you a sort method in the M query. So it is writing on table sort, change type. So it is saying on the total amount, you do the order in the descending. So order descending. Similarly, if I take you back to the customer, what we have done is we have done the sorting on the basis of the country and then on the city and then on the contact title. So you can see it from here. This is the M query method. So um, 
that was the only demo that I wanted to show you. So what we have covered, what we have covered in this video is we have talked about sorting. I can do the sorting on the basis of a single column. I can do it by pressing the control shift, um, sorry, pressing shift and clicking on the row for multiple columns. Uh, or I can uh, review the sorting that I've applied. And if I want to edit it, I can do the editing from the M code. That is the formula bar that I was showing you. Now, why is sorting important? Sorting, uh, it helps you. Uh, it helps you in organizing the data by date to identify trends by revenue to find out the, the high paying customer, uh, sort inventory by stock levels so that you know that which of the stock tree to need to be refilled and which of them to be not ordered. You can sort employee list by department and name so that it is easier for you to maintain them. The tips is that whenever you have to do a grouping or filtering, it is better to do the sorting for better clarity. You use multi-column sorting for structured hierarchies. You can edit the sorting M code by dynamic use cases. So These were the things that I wanted to cover. Again, I'll just say that if you're new to the channel, please do subscribe to it. If you like the video, please like, share to the people who think, uh, whom you think it would be helpful. And don't forget, if you have any questions, I'll share the link in the in the chat for the question. You can post in your question on this link. Once again, thank you. Good day. Bye-bye.